Welcome to Bangalore School of Banking. I'm Sachidananda Rathiwar. You can get more details about Bangalore School of Banking if you go going to Quicker and you can get a lot of information about the institute and so on. Now in this discussion of the scarier and tougher section of bank exam, the quantitatives, I am introducing you to a technique, what I say, to be the master key of quantities. In this discussion, I am not telling you how you will get through a bank exam. No, I am going to discuss, I am going to convey you why don't you get through bank PO even you prepare the hardest honestly it's an exam for some hundred seats or something whereas the aspirants the candidates that are appearing throughout India the number comes in lakhs it's not only that exam it's not the exam where you'll learn only to solve the problems but it's basically an exam which all problems you shouldn't do in quantity so I'm introducing you the master key the digital route which can help you solve any kind of problem any tough problem any easy problem Trust me, it doesn't require any education as such. Even a kid can get through a bank exam if he learns proper techniques. Mere discussions, mere practice in the books, from the books, honestly, is a waste of time. Now, if I will give you a question Wait, I'll come to the question as such. Anyway, I will I will come to this question which came in Canara Bank 2010. 36 percent of 220 minus 12 percent of 140 is how much? Options are like this: 62.4, 63.4, 72.4, 64.4, and none. Options I have just changed a bit so as to explain you better. Now, if you are solving the problem, like you want to get 36% of 220 is how much? Normally, we do like this only 12% of 140 is how much? That will give me the figure. And this figure. To get this 36 percent of 220, it's it's time taking because I'm to multiply 36 and 22. I'm to multiply 12 into 14. I have to take care of the percentage symbols. I will get to the answer. That's fine. I will get to the answer, but it's time consuming. Particularly in quantity, if I'm trying to move fast, I'll fall. And if I'm trying to get this question correctly I might <coughs> get disqualified in reasoning because I'll get short of time so what I do actually is I'm bothering the digital route in the question <coughs> what it means is let me say in 36 portion of 220 when I'm using the digital route I do not bother the percentage symbols first of all it, these are gone of the picture trust me now, <coughs> 36 digital root is nothing but 3 plus 6, which is 9. 220's digital root, you just add the figure, you'll get a 4. 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 0 is 4. Now, off basically means there's a cross symbol here. Now, you'll multiply these two. 9 into 4 is 36. 36 means digital root is 3 plus 6 is 9. I'm just telling you what a digital root means. <coughs> a digital root is something like if it is 14 
the digital root is never a double digit figure it's always a single digit figure try to make a single digit figure this is 5 if it is let me say 181 just go on adding like this 1 plus 1 1 plus 8 plus 1 this is 9 plus 1 is 10 but 10 is not the digital root it's always a single digit number so once you're getting I mean once you're getting 10 you make it 1 plus 0 is 1 I believe I'm making you something clear so here the digital root is 9 now 12 percent 12 digital root is 1 plus 2 is 3 140 1 plus 4 plus 0 is 5 now digital root of this overall thing is 3 into 5 is 15 15 means digital root is 6 so this is 9 this digital root is 6 and you can see there is a, a subtraction see this subtraction so 9 minus 6 digital root of the overall question is 3 this will take just some seconds to get the digital root once you are going with the actual discussion on digital root how to get the digital root as it's quite quite fast by just looking at and getting in seconds I believe I might be running short in this video I'll be catching you in the very next video so I will just go with these options whose digital root is 3 6 plus 8 in this figure I told I forgot to tell you one more thing that decimals also do not play any role in digital root 6 plus 2 is 8 8 plus 4 is 12 digital root of 12 is 1 plus 2 is 3 this is my answer most likely 63.4 6 plus 3 is 9, 9 plus 4 is 13, digital root is 4. This is, so when the digital root is 4, this option is not never correct. This is 9 plus 4 is 13, digital root is again 4, not correct. 10 plus 4 is 14, 14 means digital root is 5, also not correct. When the question happens to be so much tough, trust me, answer none is never correct. Because bank questions are framed for human beings not for computers I'm running short of time please catch me in my next video I believe I'll be making you more clear thanks for watching